<laughs> That's one way to start a video. Catch a freaking giant. <laughs> Ain't even no camera. Sheesh. That one about scared me. <laughs> Broke my line. my line and everything. Oh, my voice. <clears throat> so what I'm doing now, man, I hit every one of these docks through this little area right here. I actually came up to like a like a ledge drop off. A lot of brush, like trees and stuff. And what I did, I got my live scope zoomed in to like... I don't know, 25 foot. So the way I caught this one is I'm just targeting individual dots on these trees because there's not a lot of fish here, but they all look about this size. So hopefully we can get some more like that. <clears throat> Another nice one. There we go. Another nice one to add to the stringer. <clears throat> There's a lot of fish out here, but man, they are picky. <laughs> That's a light bite too. And the current in this river, every time I get on them, they're making me want to go back. But I think we're going to figure something out now. I don't know if we're going to get a limit, but we're going to get some nice fish. It took me a while to get my bearings. <laughs> but we're going to see how many we can put in the box today. So there's like a brush pile right there. So I need to throw to the left of it. Should be dead on the money right there. Let that J fall just a little bit. There he is. <laughs> My battery dies. I didn't have it plugged up. <laughs> oh, we got that one in. He wasn't super big. Nice keeper though. They're definitely in a a swimming mood but that's okay <clears throat> Ain't no gigantic ones like we were catching earlier, but still a nice one. Catching them on that ghost color. use ghost too much this year since I made it it's the only one I got in the boat so of course they're gonna bite it there he is. 
smoked it. <laughs> nice fish too. In here, boy. <clears throat> he smoked that little twister. <laughs> this is in the monkey milk color. Nothing special about it. Dang boat's got a leak in it. I gotta go bilge out the water here in a second. One of my rollers came off. Messed it up. I'm gonna get this cast in. Maybe a fish. I'm gonna go get all this water out of the boat. <laughs> oh, back to back <laughs> on the little twister. <clears throat> nice one. Let's get some of this water out of the boat. Oh, getting a nice little mess here. So, what we're doing now, we're just going to double back. And I'm going to try to go through the areas that I've already fished and actually caught some. Uh, we pulled eight off that one brush over there. And we caught the one that's probably close to two pounds here this morning. So, see if I can't get a couple more off with this little twister. Let's grind it out. I mean, it's about 1030. So, this is the best I've done in a while. But, uh, let's go ahead and shrimp it up and get us one. Giant, dude. <laughs> On that little twister. Nice pound and a half. -er. Get in here, boy. That sucker smoked it, too. Still using that little monkey milk. Nice fish right there. I didn't have the camera on. Got all these. I keep forgetting that today is Saturday. So, a lot of boat traffic, even though we're knee deep in a freaking river. <laughs> Whatever. Y'all know me, I don't really get mad at it. it. Starts to get on my nerve. I'll go to the bridge so they can't wake me as bad. But now that fish. I mean, he was deep in the tree. I almost didn't jerk because I thought I done got hung. Bridge, I ain't really been recording, but we got 15 so far. The bridge bite is definitely a grind. Especially when I'm having to go back there and get all the water out of my boat. <laughs> but I've just been going back and forth. Number 16 right here. I ain't, I ain't got no live scoop, no nothing. Because it died probably an hour ago. But I have figured out a bite. I get in between these pillars, throw it down, and they'll bite it on the fall, or when I start granny crawling it back to the boat. Ain't no giants, but it makes more sandwiches. Now, I got my slip bobber out over here. I had one bite on it so far, but I'm hoping one just sinks it. <laughs> oh, there he was right there. <laughs> This is the only ghost minnow I have in the whole boat. And I've caught 10 fish off of it. But yeah, I'm really loving going back to the B&M pole. I mean, nothing against ACC. They make really good rods. Just 
Their casting rods just really aren't sensitive at all. Really good backbone to them. But they are not sensitive at all. I don't want nothing else. Like my 13 footer, I love that thing. And also another thing, like I reached out to them and they helped me out with a little promo code. But same time, they don't do any advertising for me, so. I'm not going to sit here and support a company that don't want to support the little dudes. But I will still use their product until I get a raw deal or something. I would love to build my own rod. So I would love a 14 foot, an 8 foot, and a 5 foot. That would just be a perfect setup for me. Which I mean, there's a lot of companies that, that offer all of those, but I'm just gonna buy, keep what I got. I mean, everything I use works, so. And I'll probably use the five foot ACC when I need to skip really far. But I mean, even with this limber, B and M rod, I can go almost all the way down there. And that's as far as I would ever need to skip something, I believe. I was putting the fish on the swinger, but there's so much water in the boat, there's no point. <laughs> Four more for a limit. I ain't said that in a while. <laughs> it's been a month, month or so. Hell, about two months probably since I've caught a limit. I mean, I've always caught like 10 to 15, but an actual 20 fish limit. It's been a while. It's been too hot too, though. You can't sit out here and grind when it's as hot as it's been. It's pretty cool today, though. It's like 80 something. Not a big deal. But yeah, I mean, pretty much I'm throwing it out there about six foot. I'm letting it go down until my little gut feeling says to start winding. Then I just creepy crawl it, crawl it back to. Oh man, there he was. <coughs> oh man, I'd be glad when my voice comes back. I can actually make videos. I said, I mean, this guy here is going to be a decent little video, but I like teaching stuff, like going in depth and all that. It doesn't exactly hurt when I talk, but I know the less I talk, the faster I recover. But a lot of these bites have honestly been like towards the end of the cast, like towards the top of the water column, like three to four foot of water. I actually have a slip bobber probably set too deep. Probably change it here in a minute. I'd love to just catch one on it. Yeah, we're just flicking it in these pillars. I mean, these are the, you know, the ideal strike zone is through here. So why not go through them all at the same time instead of fishing one at a time? That's my reasoning why I'm doing it. Because <laughs> before Lyoscope died, I know there's fish here on this column, but I mean, I've caught some back there just fishing. A lot of people are like, oh, you got live scope. Man, I don't need it. It just helps, like, take the time out of doing stuff. I mean, there's a lot of fish I caught today with live scope, but I would have been able to find them with 2D sonar and 
able to capitalize on them also though. The only fish today that I would not have caught without Wisecoat was the first one, that real big one. But I mean, I singled him out. I pretty much, would you say, sniped him. So. But every other fish has come, you know, finding the fish and then casting and controlling your depth, you know, your basic fish, fishing mechanics. I mean, quite honestly, it's kind of relaxing not staring at that screen for a little bit. I'm not going to give it up, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> it's kind of relaxing. I'm just going to sit here and finish my limit, guys, and I'll